a company that many believe should not exist, has grown from a damp basement in an alley into a company with an international reputation. A pioneer in the cannabis culture, which gave shape to a new lifestyle. The feeling of freedom and creativity touched a chord with the youth in the 70s. The story of the bulldog developed through hard work, pushing the cultural boundaries and establishing a strict distinction between cannabis and hard drugs. Het is begonnen in de Kralingse bos. Ik ging naar het festival begin jaren 70 en deelde dan mijn wietje uit. Tot mijn stomme verbazing kreeg ik mijn eigen wiet weer aangeboden. En dacht, wat jullie kunnen, kan ik veel beter. Henk rushed back to Amsterdam's red light district, purchased what he needed, and with his product hidden in matchboxes, returned that same day to the festival. From this day, the idea of the world's first coffee shop was born. He wanted people to connect with each other in a social environment, be it over a cup of coffee, a film, or smoking a joint. Regardless of race, creed, or class, the Bulldog became one of the few special places in Amsterdam where all were welcome. The battle for acceptance has not always been easy, but these battles have only made the Bulldog stronger. Never one to lose their sense of irony or humor, the purchase of the Bulldog Palace, a former police station at the Leidse Plain, became one of the Bulldog's most important victories. Today, the Bulldog has expanded and become the living room of Amsterdam. A 24-hour experience with coffee shops, bars, restaurants, grand cafes, and merchandise. An international brand operating in 28 countries with resorts in Canada. It's in Bali. The Bulldog, 40 years strong. And this is just the beginning.